Hello, this is Lauren with ID8 TV, and we are joined with Chris Tashima. Welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. How did you enjoy the banquet? Oh, it was it was wonderful. I mean, it's it's so inspiring to come here. You know, East West is is really where I got my start. Um, I've been around for like 30 years now since I first walked through East West Prayer's door. So um, they've they've always really meant a lot to me. Provided me with a lot of opportunity. Um, and learning about my own identity, and so I'm I'm really happy to come out to this banquet and how it's see how it's grown and the, the amazing talent we have on stage. It's it's just it's a wonderful evening. So you mentioned that you sort of got your start here. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, you know I, I decided to try to pursue acting um, after college. I was in my mid twenties and and was really really kind of floundering a little bit. And East West had an audition notice for young Asian American male actors and I, the one place where I said wow that's me so um, not really knowing anything um, I went in and just kind of did my thing and was really fortunate um, to get an opportunity there and I really just stuck around after that learning as much as I could and uh, had some wonderful teachers great directors um, really great role models and Mako was leading the group then. It was it was just a great place to be, and I'm just lucky it was there. And it, it turned my my whole career around in terms of what what I was pursuing. Um, turned me on to interest in telling our stories, uh, learning the craft of acting. Um, it it it's just been a wonderful home. You're actually an Oscar winner, correct? Oh, yeah. Can you, uh, can you tell us what that feels like and what the project is and, and what that means for your sure. career going forward? Sure. You know, I don't know if I can tell you what it feels like because it's that sort of indescribable. But, you know, again, the opportunity came because of East West Players. That's where I met the playwright, Tim Toyama, who wrote Visas and Virtue. That's where I met the director of the play version of that, Tom Donaldson. And when we uh, decided to make that into a film, I drew again from East West. Uh, for a lot of my uh, crew and uh, a lot of the support I got, um, and you know, it was just it was just one of those projects that was meant to be because it was a, an amazing story that sort of fell in my lap, and and I, I cannot take too much credit other than just pushing it forward to the next stage and and being fortunate to have a lot of wonderful people around me. So uh, it went up, you know, it went on to win the live, live action short film Oscar. Um, that's now. 16 years ago, that was 1998, but you know, it's still something that I get asked about. Um, of course, it never gets old for me, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled every time someone mentions it. So um, it's, been, it's been a wonderful ride. You know, it's still, sh the film is still showing, um, and that's, that's the, the main thing, because we made the film to honor a uh, humanitarian, Sugihara, who, who issued the, tra the, the transit visas in World War II, and whose story really is still not widely known. So. Um, it's all, it's all been an honor for me. Well, any words of inspiration for somebody who is looking to enter this industry as an Asian American? You know, it's a great time to be pursuing it. It's, it's very, very different from when I started in the 80s. Um, we have the internet now. Um, that really has leveled the playing field. And now the only thing to hold you back is your talent or your, your motivation. So, um, you know, if, if it's something you want to do, just do it. There's nothing to stop you now. There's such a larger base of artists to support you. Um, many opportunities to, to showcase yourself. Um, there's so many film festivals. There's so many Asian American theater companies. Um, and, and other theaters are looking for our stories. So um, uh, if you want to do it, great. Um, you know, it's like, uh, it's great for all of us. Maybe there's a part for an older guy like me, so you know I'm I'm only going to benefit. So uh, just go out and do it. Um, you know, if you're an actor or if you're a writer, that you you know you got to do it, so you're going to anyway. So you know, I'll I'll just sit here and cheer from you, you know, for doing it. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank you for that uh, piece of advice, and thank you for joining us on the show. Thanks for having me. It's it's uh, again, you know, just a great place to be, an inspirational place. So come back next year.